Hello, this is uh, part two of the previous video of putting the track on by yourself and the, um, the undercarriage uh, spring roller. Uh, the previous video, we had, had some issues getting it aligned, um, basically where the ro idler roller is. Uh, it didn't line up uh, to this alignment. Uh, basically, there's a bracket in here that you can see now. See, it's lined up now, but there is a piece of metal, which you can't see it too, but on the other video, you can see it better. But um, right there. What happened was the piston uh, had to be moved. Uh, it was kind of cocked. So I had to basically uh, move that so it would slide into the, um, the carriage there. So it's all the way back. You can tell, see, the, the, basically the piston's all the way back hitting the frame. And there is no piston out because what happens is when you get, we put the track on, we'll pump it up with grease. And uh, that will basically expand the idler roller and make the track uh, tension tighter. All right. So, and on here, like I say, this is a 304 machine, a 304D CR. Uh, but basically all excavators are very similar. I mean, if you, um, this here is actually a little easier to work by yourself. I and mean, if you had something a little bigger, it'd be a little bit more difficult. But, um, but this is, uh, the idler wheel, and it's all the way back. You can see now it's it's basically all the way back to the almost to the frame. So um, that will basically make it a whole lot easier for me to put it on by myself, you know, the track. But you can tell it's probably about a good, I would say, three and a half inches uh, back in the back of the frame there. So um, all right. So like I said in the previous video, I wanted to. Uh, Try to put this track on by myself. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a little challenging, <laughs> but I do have a, uh, a dolly on one side. And um, like I say, it's a brand new Caterpillar track. I know on these tracks, you do have to make sure that they are, they are directional. Um, so you got to make sure it's going forward or reverse. But on this, this track here, it doesn't have a direction arrow um, or anything on it that says, you know, it has to be... Um, forward reverse and you can tell by the tread pattern too that it's basically um you know the same type generic type tread so um but like i said a lot of the, a lot of the excavator tracks they do have a um directional just like a just like a tire on a car you know you have to make sure it's um it's good all right well i got my phone on a tripod here so i was going to sit it sit it on a table and um and see what we can do see if i can get this track on by myself and um and hopefully you know then it'll give you some confidence and a motivation on doing it yourself so i didn't i didn't see too many videos um on this so i, I just wanted to make another video to kind of show how to do it all right so uh, like i said this track's about 350 pounds so it's not, it's definitely not light, but I was going to start it down here on the uh, gear side, or the drive side. So let's see if we can... And that dolly, that dolly helped me a lot. See, it kind of helped me uh, move it. So uh, we'll kind of get that. Uh, on here and try to get it lined up on those gears. We had a bulldozer uh, one time, a good size bulldozer, and the track came off, I would say, probably 15 times since we had it. And uh, it was a whole lot harder than this to get it on. You see that, that idler? Wheel all the way back there, it gives you room to get that track on there. So let me go over here, on the front side again. I'm gonna take this dolly off. It's actually, the dolly now is lifting it up some. So I'm gonna drop that down. See here, I got a, a little bit too, too quick on 
this side here, uh, it wasn't in the sprocket. So let's see if we can, might have to, let's see if I might have shifted over some. to pull it back to give me some room on this side. Let me get the ball up here and see if I can push it a little bit. There we go. See it moved? See what we'll do. We'll probably lift, lift this up a little bit here. So that's good. Then I want to do, I got a floor jack and I want to lift that track up a little bit. And having that, that track adjuster and that new carriage and greased up, that's why I greased it up really good so it will slide. Inside there, and that, on that sprocket, that sprocket's basically in that that channel there. You see, that gave me enough room. I should be able to get it on there. Let's see. Let's look at that. Take a look. Oh yeah. All right. Man, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I tell you, determination and uh, helps you get everything. So that, that, that floor jack, I know you're out of the feet in the field. You know, whenever you're in the field and stuff, it's gonna be harder to do it because you don't have any concrete floor and you know you don't have jacks and everything. Well, you do have jacks, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But still, uh, as you can see, um, you can do it by yourself. So. Um, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> like I said, this track weighs about 350 pounds. But uh, the floor dolly and the jack and the bar, you know, it definitely helped uh, get it, you know, put back on. So hopefully this will uh, make it easier for you to put your track on and, and give you some idea of how to do it and what needs to, done, need to be done. And uh, I know when I tried to take this track off the old one, I said on my other videos, I had to put a uh, come along around the whole track and I put a bottle jack down the end with uh, some boards and everything to kind of push that idler assembly and carriage uh, back into here. But the piston uh, was so rusted that it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't budge. I mean, I probably had about 10 tons of pressure on it. I was kind of scared it was going to break something. So uh, I went ahead and, and we just cut the track off. But um, 
I know I, I talked about that in another video I had, but um, but yeah, please uh, subscribe and, and look at other videos I have on, on maintenance and um, home building and home projects. I'm getting ready to do a uh, house build and do a video vlog on that. So uh, take a look at those videos. And if you have any comments or anything to add, uh, or even to make it easier than this, uh, let me know. And uh, we're all in this together, trying to learn and, and trying to help each other out. So we want to pay those high Caterpillar service guys. I mean, they, they charge like 150 bucks an hour, you know, to come out and work on something. So hopefully these videos uh, will help and uh, help you save some money and to uh, get accomplishment of doing it yourself. And, um, but that's enough rambling on. Let me um, show you, finish this up. So, so basically, once you have the track on, then you have to uh, have a grease, get a grease gun, which I bought this uh, a few years back since I got all this equipment. And it's, it's a great, great grease gun. I highly recommend it. So, uh, but yeah, this, this actually um, is battery operated and uh, it helps a lot. So you'll, you'll see that here in a minute. Uh, also, it's a 17 millimeter socket. And uh, let me get that. Let's see here. All right. So 17 millimeter socket. And I got a, a wrench here also, to, just in case I need it. But um, there is a, uh, there's like a, a collar around the uh, grease fitting, so you can't go all the way out with it. And you know, it won't let you bring the grease fitting all the way out and take it all the way out. Because you don't want to lose all your grease. You know, if you're just working on something or trying to get the, uh, make it a little tighter, you don't want to bring it far all the way out, so then you're, you're, all your grease is coming out. So... They, um, they did that for a reason. So what I do, I tighten it all the way up usually. And tighten it up. Okay. And then we'll uh, put the grease on it. And you should be seeing, once this gets going here, you know, it's got to fill that piston area up and the chamber. So let's, uh, actually I might have, let's see, I might, let's see, let me put some more in there. Okay, this is a brand new piston and, and I probably need some grease. <laughs> so let's see how. Yeah, let me, let me loosen this up a little teeny bit. is coming out so you don't want to do that too much I might be out of grease actually if I did the other side I think it sounds like it's out of grease Well, it just takes, there you go, it's coming. It just takes some time. You gotta be patient. But again, you can see the track moving. It just has a lot of, um, a lot of stroke to take up. There you go, it's coming on up. And I was doing some reading on this, and um, 
Basically, you have to have two fingers from the, um, and I'll bring the tripod down here in a minute when it gets closer. But uh, you want uh, two fingers there to be able to put between the, the top of the track to the bottom of the wheel. And then after, um, and after you run it for a while, all right. So after you run it for a while, then, all right, see here, basically um, the bottom, sorry about the video here, it's, but I got the, the, the top of the track to the bottom of the wheel. It's about, about two fingers, so about two fingers there. So, um, and, and then they say basically run it, let it run for a while, and then you check it again. Because you don't put too much tension on it because this wears out your uh, bearings and, and it puts a lot more pressure on your, your pistons and, and all that. So, um, but then, yeah, you can see, you know, the grease fitting here. And it just took a lot of grease. But, um, yep, I'm going to clean it up with a rag and um, it's good to go. It just had to lock in and then you can see here where the piston extended, it should extend it out here. Let's see. Oh yeah, see that's yeah the piston extended, so it, it took a lot of grease to get that filled up to be able to extend it. I don't know if you can see it too good here, but uh, but yeah, so it's about four or five inches. It's about four about five inches, you know, in. So um, but that there you go. So I uh. I want to set the prop out over here, and I'll, uh, I appreciate you. Okay, I appreciate you watching the video, and, uh, man, it's nice to have some new tracks. I tell you, I, I had these, these, these tracks about to fall off before, so, um, but I, I'm just glad to be able to get them on, you know, and get them on by myself, you know, with no help. And, um, so, but, yeah, if you have everything greased up and, and, you know, the, everything put back together like it needs to be. Like on that first video, if you looked at that one, I had some trouble, you know, because the piston uh, was basically stuck, you know, it was cocked. So it wouldn't align up on that back um, alignment jig there. And it's very important to have it lined up there because what happens, it gives it some, um, some holding, kind of keeps it in place, you know. And then it allows you to, get to be able to get the whole the whole idler wheel all the way pushed back in the beginning of the video you saw that where it was all the way pushed back so i was i was able to put the track on by myself so uh, but thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my videos and um I, i'm trying to get a clientele and, and actually i'm working on a, a telehandler now i want to give you a little brief, brief overview of that but um I'm kind of working on on this on the other side of my garage so uh, i'll have some video uh, of this, you know, so I'm basically uh, rebuilding this also. So, um, you know, like I said, one of those videos I had, I said, you know, it's, right now it's cold, like 20 some degree, like 20 degrees outside, snowing and sleeting, and uh, so well, shoot, this is a great time to take care of my equipment and keep things uh, keep things good. So, uh, as you can see, I got everything all painted up nice. I primed it like three coats and painted it, and I actually I primed uh, some of the uh, the body here. So I'm going to do some uh, light sanding on that and then put some caterpillar uh, paint on it. But um, I'm ready to take this uh, off the uh, blocks of wood I have and let it set on. And I, I got these covers all mounted too on the sides. So they're all mounted, ready to go. It's all like brand new, brand new money, man. So um, I'm uh, really, really thankful to get that done. So now I can put this machine to work. So, uh, but thanks again. I really, truly uh, appreciate your support. And please give me a thumbs up and notifications uh, when you want to see some more videos like this and comments. And um, I, I really do appreciate your time and all your feedback. Thanks again. Bye-bye.